All right, hey everyone, it's uh, Thursday, November the 12th, and I went to the funeral today of my nephew. <clears throat> He's the guy on the right, and uh, I wish I would have maintained a closer relationship with him as an adult. I remember him as a little kid. We both were little kids and kind of grew apart as he grew older, but... Um, he had a wonderful funeral, man. He, he was a very popular guy. Very popular guy. Must have been four or five hundred people there. I've I never been to a funeral with so many people. Anyway, uh, rest in peace. You will be missed. And uh, he's left a wife and a little kid behind, um, around 13 years old. And we need to pray for him and his wife. The little kid and his wife. Um, he left a big hole in the community and his family, and he was very, very well loved. You could tell by the people that got up and talked about him. But anyway, oh, this video, I want to remind you guys to write a letter to uh, Paul Hansen. Uh, we're coming up mid-November. We're going to be coming up in December, and you guys might remember, <clears throat> but Paul Hansen isn't scheduled to get out until February the 13th. And I don't know if they're going to let him out in a halfway house. I don't know what they're going to do, right? It's just the whole evil, reprobate, satanic prison system and this evil judge, Margaret Casey Rogers, and this evil prosecutor, Pamela C. Marsh, and Tiffany Hope Eggers, and J. Ryan Love, and IRS agent Scott Snyder that got on the witness stand and testified against him, and Charles Evans, who's like some kind of evil uh, lizard man, you know, um, all of them have conspired to put an innocent man in prison, Paul Hansen, for mailing a letter. And, uh, you know, I guess they go to sleep good at night thinking they've in incarcerated some grave criminal, right? And, um, you know, this man right here, Paul Hansen, is going to spend probably Thanksgiving and Christmas in jail, right? And so it wouldn't hurt to uh, remember him in your prayers, but also write him a letter. The Bible says to uh, visit our brethren in prison. And if you can't visit him, at least write him a letter and tell him you're thinking about him and you know he's innocent. You know, you're praying about him. And uh, hopefully if somebody, if some evil judge decides to put you in prison because you wrote a letter, that somebody will think uh, about writing you, uh, you know, a letter. They put you in prison for writing a letter and then, you know, we, we got to write him a letter to let him know that we still care about him, think about him. But... He's not going to get out until February 13th. At least that's the current thought. Uh, I've seen some emails from Paul indicating uh, they could possibly let him out in a halfway house, but who knows? I mean, I don't, I don't trust these guys at all. I, I think they, they just want to make an example of Paul, and um, you know, what can you say? So this, the address is on the screen. Uh, Paul Hansen. I'll put it in the information bar, and uh, don't forget to write him a letter. And if you don't mind saying a, a prayer for my nephew, for his family. And because I got a lot of people that just absolute hate me, <laughs> and it uh, doesn't bother me one bit, but I don't want to get my family brought up into like, caught up into like people who hate me trying to, you know, these people are absolute vile and disgusting, and so I don't bring my family into my YouTube channel, but. I wanted to show his picture. Um, I grew up with him, and he was um, he was a good guy. So if you could just pray for Rudy's nephew and his uh, wife and his uh, kid. <clears throat> All right, and uh, also write Paul Hanson a letter. It's com it's coming up Thanksgiving, Christmas. You guys are going to be spending time with your family. I know you are, as you should be. But Paul Hanson can't, because some evil, satanic, reprobate, degenerate. Jezebel judge and prosecutor decided they going to send a SWAT team to his house in Nebraska and stick him in prison. <laughs> so I think the Lord's going to set everything straight one day, and I'm looking forward to that. Take care, everyone.